Did you know that you can make a stylish hot and neck dress in just a few hours? Today we are going to create a stunning DIY hot and neck dress as you can see. We already have the drafting video which is already on the channel. I'll be linking it below so let's go over to the tutorial. Hi my name is Okogana and you're welcome to my channel. Please if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, like and also share. So let's go over to today's tutorial. So we'll be cutting the fabric, we'll be cutting it on the pattern on the fabric. So like I said, the up part, I'll be using the crepe and the down part, I'll be using Ankara fabric. So you cut the fabric and you add allowance. For the up side, I'll be adding allowance for joining, which is just half an inch allowance for joining it. You can go ahead to cut everything to be one piece. I've cut, I'll cut everything to be one piece. My lining and everything, I'll cut it. So for the down part, the skirt part, this is what we have. I iron paper stitch, so it's very light. I iron paper stitch to give it um, fitness and to make it firm. As you can see from the design, you see that it's straight. It doesn't have um, lining. This particular fabric is popular. It doesn't have lining. But for my Ankara, I'll be adding lining to it. So, and it's also a straight cut. For this one, for the lining, I'll also be adding a bony channel to it. And likewise, I'll be adding paper stay on my lining to give it firmness i want it to be very very firm because i'm not using this particular fabric i'm using an ankara fabric as you can see so i'll go ahead to join this to be one piece i'll also join the ankara fabric to be one piece so because i want to join them i'll join it to be one piece and for the up part too i made use of lining i cut the same crepe and i use the same crepe as the lining so but if you're not using crepe let's assume you're using brighter you might likely want to use a, a maybe an abba lining or a proper cotton lining but this i'm using crepe so i did i use crepe for the lining too so this is what you're going to have i've joined the down part the lining part so this is the lining part i've actually taken out my allowance and i've joined it so i'll be adding boning now to this particular um lining so if you don't want to add boning to yours you can just go ahead to shaping it and join it with the line with the fabric the main fabric but for if you want to add um boning to give it firmness you can go ahead and start adding boning so you can add boning as the way i'm adding boning and then you can add more boning because me i'm not really adding a lot of boning so i'll be adding i'll be sewing this boning at this part i'll make it so i'll leave like one inch up one inch down i would also sew it at this part and then for the middle part i'll make two pieces and then make one one so that makes it one two two one so that's what i will do so this is it. I've actually sewn the boning on it, as you can see. So it's always, you see, it's looking firm. It's not looking wobbling. It's actually firm. So I'll go ahead to join my Ankara fabric now to this lining to be one piece. So you get the down part. So this is the down part that is one piece. You face front, facing front right you face front facing front and you are going to sew everything you are going to close everything the only part you'll be opening is the middle part which you'll be joining the upside so if you are going to be joining yours if you're also going to have back you will leave the back side so this is what it looks like this is how it's going to look like and then you will see that the other middle part i didn't sew it it's actually open so when i sew it with the uh, the crepe fabric i can weave it in so while placing it you see i can weave that edge to be one piece so for the turtleneck you are going to fold yours in the triangular shape just as the way you cut your cycle skirt you're going to just fold it in the triangular shape to cut it to get the round neck so i'll just take measurement for this tip I'll be taking 12.5 because I don't want this edge to come in. So I'll take 12.5 round. So now, since it's 12.5, if I mark, so let me measure it. Before I have like 9.5. Nine that's what I have. And nine, nine is like 18. 
that's what I have like. I want nine, so I'll take out some parts because I, I really don't want it here. So let me mark this nine so that I can see. So this is it. I, I want my wig to be. I want the width to be high because this width here, the width we have here, it's not tiny. We should be like two inch. So I will do three inch after folding. I can do three point five inch. So I'll do three point five inch. Then I mark. I need nine, and this is my measurement for, for nine. Do you understand? I need it to be nine so that it can be eighteen. So it can be eighteen. So this is what I'm going to. So this is what we have for the neck part so at the midpoint i will notch the midpoint which is this after notching this midpoint i will measure two inch you know the opening we have is the alternate to this which is this is two inch so that is on full will be four inch wide so now i have the two inch gap i'll go ahead to cut this this measurement again So leaving just this opening, I will go ahead to sew every part. I'll go ahead to sew every part and leave the opening. And I will also iron paper still on it to give it firmness. You can iron um lighter one you get so it will not be too hard. Now this is what you are going to have. You will have one part of paper stay and one part that there is no paper stay. When you will be sewing it, you will be sewing the paper stay. So the paper stay will be the one to relax on your neck and the one on top will not be the paper stay. I hope you understand. So now you see when you get yours, you will see that there is an opening just like 4 inches opening. So now we are placing it to the main fabric. You can see how I'm inserting it in. I'm inserting it in and that is how I'm going to top stitch it. So you watch closely. I will insert it in. I will pin it because that's how I'm going to sew it. So this eye is going to relax on your neck. Very pretty. So this is the tutorial. This is what it's going to look like. I went ahead to add zip at the back. So like I said, when you are cutting it, if you watch the cutting video, you see that some part of your cleavage is actually going to show. So if your client doesn't like it, please don't show it. We have come to the end of the tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share.